Now then, that image that we just created from our Docker file and launched a container from, let's see how many image layers it created. These are our changes here, about an hour ago. I've had a quick break for lunch, that's all. The point is though, we can see that every one of our apt-get run instructions has created an additional layer. Well, surely there's something we can do about that. Well, yes, surely there is. Let's do it. So if we open up our Docker file here, and let's work some magic with these run instructions. Now, the obvious thing to do is to whack everything onto a single line under a single run instruction. A bit like this. OK, and that's fine, right? It'll definitely work, but it's not pretty. It'd look a lot cleaner and be a lot more readable if we made the effort to spread it over a few lines. And you know what? Let's add this too. Let me just paste this in. So, what have we done? Well, we've taken our five apt-get commands and we've consolidated them onto a single line under a single run instruction. But not only that, we've added an extra command, just a simple command to get rid of some potential temp files and the likes. As a result, we'll actually be running more commands than we did last time we built. But, because we're running them all as part of a single run instruction this time, we're going to get fewer layers. And not just that, I reckon the overall image is going to be smaller too. Now a quick visual just to make sure that I haven't fat fingered anything. Looks okay. Let's go and build it. And I'm going to be a bit confident here and gamble on it being smaller. Now then, there we go. A quick reminder, right? Because we changed our Docker file, this invalidates the build cache. That's pretty obvious here, because we can see the daemon doing a boatload of heavy lifting. Well. We'll come back when it's all done. Okay, all done. Shall we see how many image layers it's got? And I think I called it web server small. There we go. Only a single image layer for all of our apt get commands. Oh, also our rm command that we added in as well. Obviously it's truncated the command on the output here. But our image built without errors and all of our packages installed. Now let's just verify that we've got fewer images with docker images tree. Sure enough, fewer layers by far. And we can see the size there as well, but it's a bit more obvious if we just do a straight docker images. There we go, what, 20? 21 meg smaller? So a powerful lesson hopefully there. It does matter how we structure our docker files. If we don't know what we're doing, we can waste both time and space, and we don't want that. Okay, time to get back on track and learn some more Docker file instructions.